It is simply a question of doing the right thing. And anybody who looks at this must be sympathetic to someone who suffers from Asperger's um, uh, syndrome. He was arrested by the high-tech crime unit. They said, we've been monitoring your computers for several years, and as there's no damage, you're looking at six months community service. Deputy here. Prime Minister, you've got real power to do something here now, haven't uh, you? What I well, haven't got power to do, neither is the Home Secretary, neither is even the Prime Minister, is to completely reverse and undo certain legal aspects of this. That, of course, you wouldn't want politicians to do. That's what we're looking at at the moment. It's legally very complex, but on the sort of morality and principle of it, I haven't changed my views one bit, which is that it would be much, much, it would be right, be the right thing to do to have Gary McKinnon tried in this country. Uh, first, I want to salute Janice and all the campaigners who've been tirelessly campaigning on behalf of Gary. And it's certainly wrong to send a vulnerable young man to his fate in the United States when he could and should be tried here instead. It is simply a question of doing the right thing. Uh, it's a cause that I've been involved with for some time, not least because only the Liberal Democrats objected to this lopsided, unfair US-UK treaty right from the beginning. I'm delighted now that politicians from all parties are campaigning against it. It is wrong, it is simply wrong for this government to have signed a treaty in secret which sells our rights down the river while it protects the rights of American citizens and it's certainly wrong to send a vulnerable young man to his fate in the United States when he could and should be tried here instead. It is simply a question of doing the right thing. Gordon Brown once said he had a moral compass, but it seems to me on this issue he seriously lost that moral compass. He should find it fast, try Gary McKinnon here at home, protect his rights, but also protect the rights of all British citizens. I don't think people want a law which gives the Home Secretary absolute discretion in who comes in and who comes out of the country by way of extradition. Well, his, his, uh, the, the, the Home Secretary has already made an announcement uh, that, uh, he, you know, that, that he will be able to, his lawyers will be able to put the case uh, for his uh, deteriorating health to make sure that they are given every opportunity to challenge his extradition. We're looking at this very, very uh, carefully right now. I haven't changed my, my view one, one bit that I believe it would be best for Gary McKinnon to be tried.